Halfpoint Policies and Insights allows you to find, prioritize, fix, and manage your Microsoft Office 365 security settings. To get started with policies, log in to Halfpoint Online Services and on the home page, locate and click on Policies for Microsoft 365. The first time you log in, you will see this initialization panel. This is here to ensure that all of your settings are in place to allow policies to do what it's supposed to. The first thing is to ensure that auto discovery is running in Avpoint Online Services. Back in AOS, under Auto Discovery Scan Profiles, you have to have at least one scan profile set up to catalog all of your Office 365 objects that you want to be impacted by policies. We can see that we have that in place, and over in Policies, it knows that it is configured. The second step, we have to make sure that the app profile in AOS is configured, and also that there's an AOS service account configured to fill in where the app profile has some gaps in Microsoft 365 functionality. Essentially, certain things it's not allowed to do, the service account can do. Again, we can see both of those are coming up as configured because back in AOS, under App Management, we have our Office 365 app profile already set up. And under Service Account, we have a service account already created with the necessary permissions. In this case, I'm using the Global Admin account just because I know it has access to everything. Real world, of course, you may want to create a separate account to use as your service account and then assign it the correct permissions. Please see your Policies and Insights user guides for the required permissions. We can see, though, that one thing is not currently set up. Report Data Collection. If we click the icon at the lower right-hand corner, it will take us over into AOS to the necessary page. If I knew where that was, of course, I could have also gone back to my existing AOS tab to set it up. But essentially what this does is it allows Avpoint Online Services to collect the information necessary from Microsoft 365. I'm going to check the Microsoft 365 API, and then down towards the bottom of the page, Click Save. We can then go back into Policies and click Refresh. And we can now see that that comes up as configured. If you're ever curious about any of these settings, you can hover over the information bubble at the top right hand corner to get a little description of what it's for. Then down at the bottom, we'll click Close. We're now ready to start creating policies for our Microsoft 365 objects. Thanks for watching this short video on the initial configuration for policies in Avpoint Policies and Insights.